And the record that has been broken in British Columbia. We've been dealing with this Pineapple Express. So a very moisture leader system, subtropical moisture moved in from Hawaii along the jet stream. And these types of systems are saturated. And that's why you've had some impressive totals. Squamish, for example, you've seen over 20 centimeters of rain and you still have 60 to 90 millimeters to go. So the question is, why does BC see so much rain? Well, it has to do with atmospheric rivers and those details right now in your science behind the weather. Now, it looks like you can get those winter science experiments going because we have a wintry blast on the way. You'll see all this deep purple that's going to continue to sink south. That Arctic air will ha have quite a defined ridge in the jet stream, and you can see where it differentiates from the west to the east. But do expect to see plenty of extreme cold warnings. I know even for our day to day, we've seen them through Quebec, northern Ontario, and extending in through parts of Labrador as well. As for Ontario, Ontario, well, bands of snow have been moving through northern Ontario, southern Ontario. We've really just been dealing with pulses all due to this clipper system. These are totals into Monday. So you are looking at that 5 to 10 centimeters for many. Kingston, you could even exceed 20 plus centimeters of snow. Not all at once, but you'll definitely have a couple shovel worthy occasions. You saw the active weather there in your force of nature, but plenty here in Ontario. Thanks for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Suzanne Leonard. And as you can see, this was along Highway 400 earlier today around 10 a.m. Luckily, no injuries in this collision. And of course, the plows, the plow parade along the 407, they are working hard to keep the roads clear because what we're dealing with are pulses of snow. But this as well, freezing drizzle in Waterloo. And as a result, uh, we have freezing drizzle advisories in place for a wide swath of southwestern Ontario. That means icy conditions on the roads through the overnight into your morning. And you'll see the rest of Ontario just dealing with straight snow and winds are warm enough to be falling as rain. Here's a look at the current radar and you can see in th through Toronto, a couple flurries there, heavier amounts moving through Kingston and Barrie. Not quite yet in Hamilton, but what we'll be watching are strong northeasterly winds, the snow falling. And that's why we have blowing snow advisories along the QEW Oakville in through St. Catharines could cause some reduced visibility, especially with this continuing to fall into Monday, where all said and done, we're looking at 10 to 20 plus centimeters. Now here's the science behind the different types of snowflakes freezing drizzle, making for some difficult traveling. This is a current look at the radar. You can see all the snowfall right now moving along through a bit of Toronto in through eastern Ontario, touching on Niagara Falls. And throughout this weekend, we've been dealing with pulses of intensity with these clippers and lows moving through. This is the freezing drizzle advisory, and you can see it encompasses a large swath of southwestern Ontario extending into the Niagara region. So you need to be very cautious as icy conditions a major concern. Not the only one with this system. We have northeasterly winds moving across Lake Ontario, and that's what could lead to some blowing snow potential. As a result, we have a blowing snow advisory from Oakville along the QEW into St. Catharines. So just really something to be aware of if you're traveling out there. It's having fun getting out and tobogganing. So you kind of have to embrace it because the snow is not over. We're going to continue to see these pulses of moisture, the snow moving in right into your Monday morning. So it's not that it's going to be one big dumping of snow, but definitely some shovel worthy events into your Monday. And in addition, even in the morning hours, we are looking at that line of icy conditions through the southwest. That's because temperatures fluctuating around the freezing mark, the rest all falling as all snow cold conditions for your Sunday morning, a wind chill of minus 13 in Toronto, feeling like minus 16 in Owen Sound. And then looking at your Sunday night, again, we do have that around the freezing mark through the southwest. That is why we continue to see that freezing drizzle potential. And then again, the snowfall where we could potentially see 10 to 25 centimeters all said and done by Monday morning. Looking ahead for you, Hamilton, another system to move in Wednesday. We're going to have Rachel Schutzen on the ground tomorrow morning. I'll also be live in the field bringing you this story. Tweet us your on-storm photos. Using